welcome to analog communication uh, in today's session i am going to explain about pulse amplitude modulation generation that is pam generation so in last session i had discussed about uh, definition of pam pwm ppm that is pulse amplitude modulation pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation so before discuss about uh, generation of pam so first of all let we see the definition of pam what we have discussed in the last session so this is the uh, diagram for pam so pam means in pam the amplitude of carrier pulse is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of the message signal so here this is the message signal it is a continuous time signal and it is the carrier pulsed carrier pulsed in or train of pulse so it is not continuous in nature it is in the form of pulse so here the it is the modulated signal pam signal which you are going to generate that is uh, if the amplitude increases the pulse amplitude also increases if amplitude decreases the pulse amplitude also decreases so this is nothing but pam so this is the circuit which you are going to generate the pam signal so this uh, this circuit can call it as a sample and hold circuit so here it mainly consists of uh, two switches one is the sampling switch another one the discharge switch and it contains a capacitor c so here x of t is the continuous time signal which is given as a input signal and we are getting output across the capacitor c that is g of t so here the switch is basically it is nothing but a field effect transistor so it is a source drain and gate here also it is a source drain and gate so at the input side we are going to apply the continuous time signal x of t and the output is taken across the capacitor c in sampling switch if the input signal x of t is given to the this sampling switch it is going to sample that the input signal such that it generate it will it will produce a time period ts that is it contains both t on and t off so during on time during on time the capacitor is going to charge and hold the value during off time the capacitor is going to discharge through this discharge switch so i will repeat once again so the input signal x of t is given as input to the sampling switch so the sampling switch purpose is going to sample the input signal such that it will generate a sample with a time interval ts so the time interval it contains t on and t off during this t on the capacitor is going to charge to the instantaneous value of the input signal after that during this t off time the capacitor is going to discharge to the discharge switch capacitor instantly charges and hold the value of signal for ts second before the arrival of next sample and this process is repeat again and again so finally we are getting a output as pam signal next we are going to discuss about demodulation of pam signal so in modulated that is in modulation that is generation process the output is pam signal this output is given as input to the holding circuit so demodulation circuit consists of holding circuit low pass filter the input for this holding circuit is pam signal the purpose of this holding circuit is to it holds the amplitude value till the arrival of the next pulse and the output of this holding circuit is passes through the low pass filter which reduces the distortion and finally we are getting the demodulated signal that we have sent in the generation process this is the a signal which is we are going to generated which is going to send and finally we are get, we are getting the demodulated signal so this is the output of holding circuit output and it is the low pass filter output so this dotted line represents it is the output of low pass filter so this is about generation and detection of pm signal i hope you understand the concept of generation and demodulation of pm signal thank you